Hey everybody, welcome back for another episode here at T-Roy Cooks. We appreciate you joining us once again. We're cooking out back tonight. Got my Wichita getting fired up, my Yoder's Smoker Wichita. Got some oak wood on it, bringing it up to temp right now. We're going to be smoking us a steak, a sirloin steak tonight. And uh, my good friends over at Little Bells of New York, they sent me this fine USDA Prime, this dry aged USDA Prime hip sirloin steak. Y'all check this baby out. Uh-huh. Now I know if you go in your local butcher shop or your local grocer, you're going to find a sirloin steak, but it doesn't have a bone in it anymore. They used to do them with the bone ends. I don't know why they started cutting them out. But anytime you can get a steak with a bone in it, it is so much better, so much more flavor than just your normal boneless steak. So if at all possible, get you a bone in your steak. And the ones you find in your local grocer, it's two, maybe a sliver of a third muscle in there. Y'all check this out. This is six to seven different muscles in this one. And these are special cuts. They're limited quantities that Lil Bells does from time to time. So if y'all go to lilbells.com and look up their USDA Prime section and check out these, uh, the, they call these the bone-in hip sirloin steaks. Now check them out. They usually have them, but if they're out for, you know, for some reason, they'll usually put a date down there saying when they'll have them again. So you can pre-order these. But let's let this thing bloom for about 15 minutes. We'll see you back here in about 15. All right, gang, as you can see, uh, when you take it out of the packaging, it turns a nice bright red, like it should be, like it's, it's fresh. I mean, it's never frozen. So anyway, I just got some seasoning here. We're just going over with some steak seasoning. Use your favorite or just use salt and pepper. Be fine. And I didn't show this earlier, but the, uh, the butchers at Lobel's, see they put this butcher's twine around here to hold it together while it's cooking. Because this thing is so tender, it will fall apart on you. It's going to be great. We're fixing to throw this on the Wichita. Be right back. My Wichita is about 350 right now, Fahrenheit. And we're going to just toss this fine steak in there. We're going to let it smoke for a little bit. We'll be uh, checking on it here shortly. All right, so we went uh, 30 minutes on the one side and 20 minutes now on this side. Let's check this out and let's see what we got here. What kind of internal temp we got. If I can read it. Oh, it's about, a, about 130. I need to pull this baby off. Yeah, it's getting too hot. All right, we're gonna pull it off and uh, tint it with some foil. Be right back. All right, folks, it's been about uh, about 15 minutes covered in some uh, aluminum foil. And I just put it on these hot embers. We're just gonna get a little color on it. Maybe 30 seconds per side. It's, uh, it's almost done. Like I said, it's about 130 Fahrenheit or so internal. So it doesn't need much. And you should you should smell that dry aged smell. It's it's the real nutty aroma about this. This just smells wonderful. All right, get a little bit more going over here. So again, give it about a about a half minute or so on this side, and then we're going to tint it up, and we'll be right back. All right, folks, let this rest for about 15, 20 minutes. I got some uh, some butter and some garlic in here. Just going to kind of some of this over the top of it a little bit of extra flavor going on here all right let's cut into this let's see what this looks like i'm sure it's gonna be good oh and don't forget to take this the uh, butcher's twine from around the edges here uh, i did already take that off all right let's cut into the middle of this let's see what it looks like Hmm. -hmm. Oh yeah, there we go. Nice, medium. That's exactly what you're looking for. All right, I'm gonna cut a bite of here. Let's see, I'll just cut a little bit of right here. Nice. All right, I'm gonna raise my camera up, take a bite, be right back. All right, folks, let's check this out. This nice bone-in hip sirloin. Mmm, my gosh. You get that nice smoke flavor. Oh, and it's super beefy too. I love that. And then you get the, the, the buttery and nutty aroma from it being dry aged. It doesn't get any better than this. This isn't your normal sirloin that you get from your grocer. Y'all gotta check this out. Lowbells.com, hope y'all go visit them. Order you one of these for yourself. I wouldn't steer you wrong, this is excellent. 
This is the best one I've ever had. Best sirloin steak I've ever had in my life. This is this is some kind of fun. All right, uh, thumbs up. Leave me a comment because you know I like my comments. I like to interact with my my subs and everybody else out there. Uh, if you're not a sub yet, go ahead and sub so you can, you know check out the new videos that I have. And uh, you know, if you're into it, go ahead and share the video. I'd appreciate it. And when you do share the video, be sure and tell all your friends. T Roy cooks responsibly. <laughs>